When it comes to Louisiana, most people think of food, great food. On Monday, March 9th, help celebrate LPB's gumbo of culinary delights from 40 years of cooking shows. From John Foles to Justin Wilson, from Miss Lucy and Leah Chase to the Great American Seafood Cook-Off. Join us for all of the food, friends, family, and fun on LPB Cooks, 40 years of flavor. Tonight at 7 on LPB. Hi, I'm David Holt. Join me on the next Great Scenic Railway Journeys as we take you to some of the oldest heritage railways in the nation. We'll show you some of today's most unique rail adventures and we'll visit a few of America's treasured National Historic Sites. Tuesday night at 7 on LPB. You're watching LPB. How y'all are? How about a dozen? Red beans and rice. Hey y'all, how you doing? Huh? I'm glad for you to see me, I guarantee. Bonjour. When it comes to Louisiana, most people think of food, great food. Tonight, help celebrate LPD's gumbo of culinary delights from 40 years of cooking shows. From John Foltz to Justin Wilson. From Miss Lucy and Leah Chase to the Great American Seafood Cook-Off. Join us for all of the food, friends, family, and fun on LPB Cooks, 40 years of flavor. Louisiana has the best seafood in the country, and it stands to reason if you're going to have a national seafood cook-off, it has to be held right here in Louisiana. For seven years, LPB captured the heat of the competition during the Great American Seafood Cook-Off. Chefs from around the United States created dishes with seafood native to their home state and presented them to a panel of industry experts and celebrity judges who crowned one deserving chef, king or queen of American seafood. Chefs, light your burners. The competition began. Like playing poker, isn't it? That is so good! I'm Chef Philippe Boulot. Patrick Hoogerhide. Chef Margaret Salt McClellan. And I represent the state of Mississippi. I'm representing the state of California. In Louisville, Kentucky. I'm here at the Great American Seafood Cook-Off representing the great state of Rhode Island. If you love good seafood, you'll love the Great American Seafood Cook-Off. The quality of chefs in that arena, they represent the best in this country. 15 chefs from 15 states come to New Orleans each year to saute, fry, even poach their way to the top to see who'll be crowned the next king or queen of American seafood. Are you holding up okay? That was probably the longest 20 minutes of my life waiting to, <laughs> waiting to get started. <laughs> Speaking of competition, there's nothing more competitive in the South than SEC football. And where there's football, there's tailgating. Take a look back to when LPB teamed up with Chef John Foltz to have a friendly tailgating competition with our public television counterparts in Mississippi, Alabama, Arkansas, and Georgia. We even had an assist from a special guest, Baton Rouge native, professional football player, and Louisiana legend, Jim Taylor who joined Chef Fultz and LPB President Beth Courtney. Go Tigers! The coin toss has been completed and Louisiana will get the ball first in today's contest. So clean off the grill and start the jambalaya. It's time for the most important part of the game, tailgating. Let's kick things off with Louisiana's most valuable player, Cajun and Creole Chef John Fultz. Welcome, 
everybody. I'm Chef John Fultz. And I'm Beth Courtney. <laughs> and y'all, we're getting ready to prepare some great tailgating recipes with the help of some very special football heroes. And some enthusiastic fans. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and speaking of football greats, we have a special one right here with us. He starred as a fullback and linebacker for LSU and helped lead the Green Bay Packers to victory and the very first Super Bowl. It's Louisiana's own Jim Taylor. Jim, oh, come on. Oh, in. Everybody hey, thank you. How are you doing? Good. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Glad thank you. to have you, Jim. Boy, is it great to have you with us. Now, you and I, in addition to playing football, uh, you and I play a little golf every year in the Crosby, huh? We certainly do, yeah. We enjoy being over there with Catherine Crosby and, uh, and all the fun people that we've known for many, many years and all our friends over there for the for the benefits in, uh, at uh, Catherine Crosby's uh, golf outing. Well, 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 Jim, you are synonymous with Louisiana when it comes to football, but also Green Bay. They love you up there. I think we love you better, though, you know? I think we do, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you love you love Louisiana, I know. I certainly do. Now you yeah. brought us. Now I'm surprised you brought us a recipe that's in this terrific cookbook. That's going to mm -hmm. be a thank you gift if you, people pledge around Absolutely. the five states. And your recipe, though. It's from your wife, isn't it? Confess, Jim. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. I, 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 I can substantiate that Jim is a great eater. I don't know what kind of cook you are, Jim, but I know you can eat it. You're right. I can participate and enjoy the uh, the fine food and the cooking. Well, we want to get started on Helen's recipe. This is Jim. Uh, this is your wife, Helen's spicy tailgaters uh, uh, potato salad. And what makes it spicy is a little twist right at the end. You going to help us do it? Certainly will. Beth, yeah. we have, to, have you ever seen chicken great. put in the potato? Your fish all in mm -hmm. one, huh? Mm -hmm. yes, all in one. You have the potatoes, you have the meat, the, the eggs, all of those nice things. And then, y'all, a little touch. Let's go ahead and spice it up, Jim. A little right. salt, a little pepper. Mm -hmm. Now, seasoning to taste, y'all. That's enough right there. Mm -hmm. There you go, a little pepper. Yeah. Put it in there. There you go, perfect. And we're going to put them on. Yo, who said too many cooks spoil the soup? <laughs> huh? Who said that, huh? They must have been talking about Mississippi or Alabama or <laughs> something. Right. <laughs> Would Helen approve of this? She so would. Far? She'd very sure. much approve. All right. Hey. Now you Certainly. like being back in Louisiana. We love having you back here all the time. I love Louisiana. Yeah, that's why I came back to the New Orleans Saints when I left uh, the Green Bay Packers in, in 1967. It's hard to imagine, though, that you look so great and you were in the very first uh, Super Bowl. And I understand it wasn't even sold out. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, it wasn't. It <laughs> was in, uh, in, in Los believe. Angeles at the uh, Coliseum <laughs> there, and it was the together the uh, NFL and the AFL, which joined merged leagues after that. Now, what year was the first one? 1966. 1966. He played Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, uh, Jim, who uh, won that game, huh? Y'all did? We, we uh, won it. First uh, one, Green Bay, yeah, you won. won. Just yeah. like Louisiana's <laughs> going to win today, yeah. right out there. We're yep. going to, in a competition, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Arkansas, and Georgia, where we know we have good food. Whether it's tailgating or barbecuing or making peach cobbler, food is the binding ingredient in Louisiana's cultural traditions that have been passed down for generations. One of LPB's most beloved cooking shows was, and still is, Miss Lucy's Classic Cajun Culture and Cooking. Over the years, we've produced 40 episodes with Miss Lucy, and here is one of our favorites, with her granddaughter and namesake, Lucy. Oh, Mama, what are we having for dessert today? Well, what would you like today? Peach cobbler sounds good to me. All right, well, with these wonderful Louisiana peaches, I think you got the right idea, girl. But listen, I'm running a little behind with my meal, so do you think you could help me? If you have a minute off of your horseback riding, I, I'd appreciate the help. I'd love to. All right. Well, I tell you what, I haven't put my bottom crust in here. If you would put that in, and then while I'm mixing the uh, filling, you can just go ahead and do the stripping for the top. Okay. How's that, okay? Very good. Well, here I am. I've got my peaches. Of course, I have used frozen peaches today from the grocery store. You can use the canned peaches if you wish. And Lucy, where else can you get peaches? Well, you can get them right off the tree if you want to, just like I did at Mr. Miller's. Oh, that's right. Was it juicy and... Mm -hmm. I ate my share of them too. So first, what I'm going to do to do for the filling is I'm going to add my sugar here, okay? And my flour, okay? And to this dry ingredient, you're gonna add some nutmeg. Oh, I don't know if I have enough. Let me, 
I like nutmeg. It always enhances the flavor of everything. Let me go ahead and use my little space gadget. You know, I love gadgets, and I guess I'll have to wheel all these to Lucy. So, all right. Now, this is really, mmm, that nutmeg smells so good, and that fresh nutmeg is always better. Let me just go ahead and pour all this, okay? Then I'm going to mix my peaches real well. You want to make sure that they're well coated. Oh, Lucy, you did so well. Well, that's good. You're really doing good there with your uh, strips. I'm soon going to be ready to pour this in there. So, mmm, look at that. Isn't this beautiful? Almost looks good like this without even cooking it. You know, some people don't use crust, pie crust, for cobblers, but I like to use just a regular pie shell. So, all right, this is mixed up pretty good. Oh, yeah, well, not quite. Okay. So, well, Lucy, I'm about ready to throw this in the uh, shell. So, you ready for me? Okay. Very good. All righty. Okay, I'm just going to add this here. Oh, well, you know, all good cooks are messy cooks. <laughs> so, oh, man, look at this. What you think you'll do with that, huh? You going to enjoy it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know I will. Because <laughs> I love peach cobbler. Very good. Okay. Now, okay, you're, while you go ahead and add your strips to that, I'm going to be mixing some sugar and water, okay? Why do you do that, Mama? Well, you know, Lucy, when you bake a pie crust, you want it to be a golden brown. So what I do, I just mix an equal amount of sugar and water. And you see how it just, it just uh, well, it's kind of like a, it's, it's really just a good mixture of it. Well, I guess you're the expert. Oh, thank you for that vote of confidence, Lucy. Good job. So, okay. Well, let me give you a hand here, okay? Because you just want to throw your strips down there. Thank you for helping. Okay. Good job. Very good. Oh, she's the expert on this, I think. Not me. <laughs> All right, Lucy. Good. Well, do you want to go ahead and do the... The sugar and water? Okay. Very good. Yes. We're going to add this to, to the topping, and then when we bake it in the oven at 350 or 375 for an hour, it's going to come out of there just a golden brown. Mmm, and it looks so good and make it kind of crusty and crispy. And I know Lucy can't wait to eat this, so she's done a beautiful job, and I know, I know it's going to be as good as it looks. And these, of course, are just a few dishes that you can prepare with Louisiana products, including those wonderful, luscious, and delicious Louisiana peaches. Of all the chefs that LPB has had the pleasure of working with, it's Chef John Fultz who has shared the most recipes with our viewers on over 235 programs. And you never know who will be stopping by to cook with him. You ready to do a little uh, a little cooking here? Yes, sir. I'm going to slide. Look, I, I'm only starting with a little butter, about a right. quarter of a pound. Right. But remember, yeah, remember, we got, this is a dip with a little French bread. It's going to be divided amongst a right. bunch of people. Right. Now, uh, uh, James, why don't you go ahead and take the shrimp and you can turn that platter around I for me. I got you right here, Chef. Uh, the, I got you right here. I just, oh, uh, I, you know, generally I'll put uh, like an oil in with my butter. To, I'm not as skilled as you, but it'll keep it from burning, you know, the, yeah. the, the temperature will paint it up to... No, no you're, exa you're exactly right, but look at your shrimp. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. Now, James, what about a little of that, uh, uh, of that Worcestershire sauce right, there? there that, that's also going to be an important part of the flavor. More? Uh, no, that's, that's, that's good enough. right there. Okay, yeah. And we just want to kind of move that around just enough to, th these shrimp will cook in how just a minute or so. You know, the tails will curl. That's how you know they cook. Oh, okay. Huh? You see I that? See. You see how the tails are curling real uh -huh. fast there? And, uh, and of course, you want to leave the heads on, but you want to score them because you have to suck those heads, get all that good juice out of there, okay. right? That's it. Uh, now, That's what it. about a little beer? A little beer, all right. Head. Just go ahead and put a little, uh, little dark beer in there. Now, you see how it foams up like that? Yes, sir. Just absolutely beautiful. We're Good gonna put... God, what is there not to like about that, huh? <laughs> yeah. 
I like the way you get excited Ooh. about that. Now, look, wait, wait, look, wait, wait, how can you not get excited? Look, before I take that off, I want you to get excited about this. Do you remember this? I'm going to show y'all in a minute. Oh, my goodness. That was that back in 1992. Y'all, this, this was President Clinton's inauguration. This guy invited me to come up to Washington to do that first inaugural party for President Clinton. And this is this guy and I's <laughs> picture from back then. Look at that. <laughs> And I got old Barney Fay phone now. <laughs> now huh? Look at the way you dress at the inauguration. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, the, the, I want my picture back too. I just thought, I right. thought you'd enjoy God, seeing well, that. Uh, remind me how young we were back then, huh, Chef? <laughs> okay, look at our big platter. Here and, we go. Uh, right right here. Look, oh, y'all, take a look right. at this right here. Can you imagine how beautiful that is? Now we're gonna go right in. Now you want a platter that has some edges on it. You see that? So you got a hole on it. Oh, you got to hold all of that and juice. And the bread, you, you want to dip the, the oh, bread Oh, you got to have huh? that nice French bread to go in there. And that's okay. just a gorgeous piece. Look at that right there. Y'all going to hold that up for you. And uh, who would possibly leave this kitchen anyway? No, I right? don't know. See look, you back in a minute. Look at that. Wow. I didn't <laughs> uh, see that. Oh, Isn't that gorgeous? man. Over the years, LPB has done many holiday-themed programs, and it's holiday recipes and food traditions that have been some of our most popular. Here is Chef John Fultz with Mrs. Bing Crosby, Catherine, who he got to know at the annual Crosby's Golf Tournament in California, and who stopped by to see Chef Fultz during a visit to Louisiana. Christmas. Merry Christmas, Catherine. And oh, trust, oh. Trust with you. <laughs> oh, as look, we say in Russia. Look how gorgeous you are, Russia. Boy, do we we both have ties there, don't we? The greatest man I ever knew <laughs> gave me courage to go to Russia, and he brought you brought Louisiana to Russia, and I brought acting to Russia, and then you gave us. You t said you were going to ask about my daddy. Ah, uh, he's. Daddy is still glowing from last Christmas which you arranged for him when you and Bucky Kessler got him on a deer stand <laughs> in the bayous of Louisiana, and he had the best time of his life, as we always do. Good. And I tell you what, this is so wonderful. I'm, I have a special guest coming into the kitchen to join us right now, and let me tell you who it is. Not only... Oh, bravo! <laughs> not only is it my wife, Lolly, but it's my little dog. You know her name? Petit Beignet. 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 Just Beignet. Look, at, look at here. Brought <laughs> and some hands to help. Oh, brought some hands to help. Six hands to help. Now, right here, look what look what Beignet and I and Lolly are going to be eating. This is that famous oh. venison crown roast. And we're going to have... It's venison season in Louisiana, and we have all of these nice things going. And this is exactly what we're going to have on our table. Cat What's your favorite piece, uh, Christmas piece music? Well, I, I think it would be Jingle Bells. Hey, I have, you to, don't mind me too, uh, I have to hear it. <laughs> We love being here in the kitchen with you every week, but we need your support to keep shows like these coming. Go to the phones right now and show your support for Louisiana programs by calling in your pledge right now. Pete and I are going to play music. I'm learning from the master. Well, 
<laughs> Chef John Foles, welcome to the LPB Studios. So, so nice to be sitting up here at the, I'm going to say the kitchen table. Yeah, okay. the old kitchen table, so to speak. You know, folks, we have done cooking shows for a long, long time. It began in 1982 with Justin Wilson, then this guy showed up. We have done, we were watching that show just a moment ago. We were, it has been a long time since we did uh, that episode. You, you know, uh, uh, LPB has just been famous for his cooking shows, and so many great, great chefs and cooks have been a part of this, mm -hmm. uh, this kitchen. And I'm so happy, so fortunate to have been chosen to be one of them here on LPB over the years. And watching some of the clips has just been phenomenal. Isn't so. it fantastic? We have, <laughs> have shared with the United States it's the wonderful, well, wonderful food that we have here in Louisiana. And whether it be from, like I said, Justin Wilson or Chef John Foles, Miss Lucy, you saw her there just a few moments ago. Wasn't she fantastic? She was fabulous. Oh my and, gosh, and all of them brought a great personality yes. to the kitchen, just like Louisiana cooks do. And you know what? We're here to help bring the pledges in, as a matter of fact, for you folks out there. So if you enjoy the type of programming that you're seeing here tonight, including great Louisiana cooks and great Louisiana cuisine, just like made right here with jo Chef John Foles, now's the time to call us at one 888 Seven six nine five thousand. We have a very special deal, don't we? Yeah, yeah. You know, we we never show up at the kitchen table without having a little bit extra on the plate. That. You know? I think yeah. that's a tradition here, as a matter <laughs> of fact. Absolutely. And uh, and I want to throw something on the table if you don't mind. Okay, here we go. Uh, you, you know, for uh, uh, you know, for a twenty five hundred dollar pledge, if okay. you just call in the pledge, just just think of us sitting right here, just really uh, wanting you to participate in uh, in programming here. Twenty five hundred dollars, a dinner for twelve. Uh, at White Oak Plantation, wow. Monday through Thursday, dinner for 12, 2,500. Think about those anniversaries, birthdays. And if you want me to come to your home to do it, mm -hmm. I'm happy to do that as well. I'll come into your own kitchen, bring my staff. We'll create a magnificent menu. $5,000, every nickel of that will be coming back to programming just like this. So Absolutely. we really want you to uh, think about those special events that's coming up in your life. This is the opportunity to take advantage of this, of this uh, menu. Absolutely, this is the time to do it too. Remember, we'll take Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Absolutely. and Discover. And of course, there's a sustaining membership programming, but now more than ever, we need your pledges. So you see the number on your screen, give us a call now at that. And we want to also mention something very special that we've got some other special thank you gifts. We're, we're really appreciative of those dinners sure, like that. Sure, but sure. we've got some other thank you gifts and we'd like to show you those <laughs> right now. Let's take a look, shall we? For $20 per month or a one-time contribution of $240, receive the LPB Cooks Combo Package that includes the cookbooks Can You Dig It by John Foles, Classic Cajun 2, More Culture and Cooking by Lucy Zondrecker, better known as Miss Lucy, and Gridiron Gourmet featuring Southern recipes for football season from Louisiana, Mississippi, Georgia, Arkansas, and Alabama, plus a pair of LPB gumbo mugs. For $13 per month or a one-time gift of $156, receive the John Foles cookbook, Can You Dig It? And for just $6 per month or a one-time contribution of $72, receive a pair of LPB gumbo mugs. Call us now at 888-769-5000 or go online to lpb.org. Hey, and you know something else I wanted to mention here, Chef? It's the fact that this is a membership challenge break, and we're going to talk about that right now. So we've got some people here that are going to donate funds, and what that's going to do is going to help you when you donate. So let me just read off these people here. You've got Bob Christensen. You've got Nelgum Fergel, uh, Kelly McWright. Milton Moore, Dr. Linda Nall, and Laura Shortell, and they're proud to support the programming here on LPB and are challenging all those viewers out there who are watching us here on LPB <laughs> tonight doing this great food event here on LPB. They will match the first $1,500 called in, and that's going to effectively double your pledge. So, wow, what a great time to call in. Give us a call right now. Jeff. No, no, abs absolutely. And remember, every dollar brought in here, with, wait, when you hear those phones ringing, mm -hmm. you know you're supporting Louisiana Public Broadcasting, and that's what it's all about tonight. And I oh. mentioned my two events that I want to do, uh, the dinner for 12, uh, uh, you know, at White Oak Plantation, Monday through Thursday. Right, there it is. Uh, but the big one, the really big one, is going to be $5,000 at your home and uh, you know if you have a special party a special anniversary a, uh, a, a really nice opportunity to bring family together this is the night to do it I'll bring my whole team there create a, a, an exceptional event at your home so uh, tonight uh, tonight's the night to, to take advantage of that all proceeds 
going to continue programming right here. So we make those phones ring and think about those two events. You know, one of the things that we do with these phones is we help produce new programs. Now, we have done over 400 cooking shows. That's incredible. 400 cooking shows, and out of those, 235 of those have been yours. <laughs> <laughs> 235, and, and you know what? Y'all have been so generous to, uh, to support uh, A Taste of Louisiana with Chef John Falls over the last, uh, what, 25 years yes. or so. Oh, and I, I hadn't even aged, you know? Look at that. Pretty good. Look at that. <laughs> but anyway, we really, we thank you for all of the support <laughs> you've given us over the years, but the support is uh, uh, is needed and I think about the governors and uh, yep. I, I think about the, the musicians mm -hmm. and I think about the cooks that have been uh, on my shows over the years I mean we could have a history of Louisiana just by going back and looking at the programs that we've done absolutely so many great Louisianians fan famous and fantastic people have shown up here in Louisiana because of chef John Foles and the show that LPB have, has produced we want you to be part of this great experiment know this Louisiana public broadcasting we can do it with your pleasure support at 1-888-769-5000 or they can go online they can use that computer they can use that mobile <laughs> device they can go online at lpb.org make a secure pledge and of course you can get some of the great thank you gifts and you can get that special special dinner that you right, are, right. are graciously giving us and again let's talk about this because this is the break to do it because it is the membership challenge and the folks that you're going to see on your screen in just a moment there they are right there are going to they are proud supporters and they're going to match dollar for dollar up to the first fifteen hundred dollars that pledge and that's going to effectively double your pledge support so if you're interested in maybe that white oak plantation dinner or basically chef john Foles and his whole crew coming to your house and doing a special event so to speak you can call us right now and get that going remember visa mastercard american express to discover Absolutely. and of course online at lpp.org you remember anything special, some some big event that happened? We just saw, for example, Pete Fountain was playing Christmas tunes. In well, well, you know, just, just think about this for a minute. Right here in this studio yep. over the years, Mrs. Bing Crosby coming to Louisiana yes. because of LPB and because of the great food in the front. Her father, in fact, was from Alexandria, Louisiana, and Mrs. Crosby came in and said, I want to support Louisiana Public Broadcasting, and came and did a couple of shows with me. Pete Fountain bringing his clarinet yeah. on Christmas. But this is just one or two or three of the great stars. What about all of the guests who have been a part of our show over the years, bringing the best of Louisiana to you? Children have grown up in your home watching the history of Louisiana unfold on your stages, all because, uh, all because of the great work that that LPB has done over the years. I've just been, I mean, I've been just so happy to be a part of it. I've been, oh, yeah, I've we, been ecstatic about it. I, I remember when we did our, our first show and it was going to be, a, it was a Thanksgiving special. Your daddy was on it. <laughs> I was scared to death, y'all. It was, it, was, <laughs> it was Thanksgiving about 28 years ago. Yep. And we did it over at Rural Life Museum, I'll never forget. And I had to, I had to, to read my lines and I, I, I flubbed them about 19 times. It was only two sentences. So I know, but you I, know, I've come you gotta practice way. a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's been, I really treasure what y'all have done to support us, mm -hmm. to support my own shows, but to support everything that LPB represents to Louisiana. You're the reason it happens, that's and that's right. why we come out with the gifts that we're asking for you to participate in tonight. My dinner at your home, which would be spectacular, wow. or of course, at White Oak Plantation. Think about that. That's right. Listen, folks, we want to thank everyone who's called in so far, and you still have that chance to get those big dinners right now on Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discover. Yeah, also, the food. We want to thank the Jumbo Shop, nothing but cakes of Baton Rouge and Coca-Cola. We want to also thank our member challengers again. Let's go over that one more time. Oh, there you go. There's our special thanks to our donors right there. Thank you so much. And Bob Christian and Neglin Fergell and Kelly McWright, and Milton Moore, Dr. Linda Nall, and Laura Shortell, they're going to match dollar for dollar up to the first $1,500. Your challenge is to get on the phone right now and call us at 888-769-5000. Of course, go online to lpb.org. Make that pledge of support. We're going to be here, right? We're going to be here. That's We're enjoying fine. the program because it's a <laughs> real nostalgic trip back into the wonderful archives of LPB to see these programs with Justin Wilson. Miss Lucy, for God's sakes, we've got more of that coming up in just a few seconds. But let's give them that number again. It is 888-769-5000 or go online to lpb.org. Let's go back to the programming, but I tell you what, we're going to be right here. John, you and I are going to be watching the show, right? Uh, we're, we're going to be watching, and look, we can even make a special menu for you for that dinner at your there home, you so don't worry about all of that. Give your us a choice. call. Okay, thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thank you.
Louisiana is blessed by a bounty of fish and seafood from the Gulf of Mexico and Louisiana's many waterways. Plus, boating and fishing are a great way to pass a good time in sportsman's paradise. Farming traditions and family traditions are intertwined in Louisiana's cuisine. When I was a little boy, my grandfather was a farmer. Every few weeks during the winter, we woke up before dawn to offer up several pigs for the boucherie. The boucherie was a joyous time for my family and friends to come together, share stories, catch up on news, and prepare the pigs for the butchers. Every part of the hog was used. The spoils of the boucherie kept us fed through the lean times, and we were grateful for our gifts. Not just good food, but good times. You know, the Louisiana way. Come and join me, Chef John Falls, as we savor a tasty culinary tradition in the boucherie, preserving traditions. Known for being rock contours and wonderful storytellers, Louisiana chefs not only cook to impress, but they can also tell a good tale and have fun even when things go awry. All right, y'all, Bobby Lanero in the New Orleans Express right there. Isn't he great, huh? Yeah. Right. Y'all, I have two words for the audience today. Wild turkey. No, 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 we're not drinking it, we're cooking it, huh? <laughs> but one day, one day a Marine come home on leave. He'd been down Guadalcanal, a place like that. And he said, Doc, I got a bad ration. Doc said, well, let me see that, son. He opened his shirt up and he had a bad red rash like on his stomach there. Doc looked at that real hard. And he looked at that Marine. He said, son, I want to ask you. Have you had this before, huh? He said, hell yeah. He said, well, you got it again. I'll guarantee it. <laughs> now, how do you know when to pull the nets in? You can see that they're filling up. When I'm trying to catch some shrimp, yeah, I won't keep looking. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, if we got more, I stay right there. Yeah. Uh, right now, being a movie star, we like checking it in. <laughs> like we're supposed to. <laughs> like we're supposed to be. I don't know if I'm going to catch anything or not. V, you didn't do that. <laughs> well, we're going to look at the song song of that Noah Allegra. We got to do it again. I'm going to fall. Good, good with that ice cream, with that uh, sherbet, that strawberry sherbet. And I want you to know that I'm gonna let you know how it tastes this very minute. Ooh, come here. <laughs> you talk about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now that's fine. Oh. Oh, that's a good song. I love that. Bobby Lanero, y'all, right there, huh? <laughs> Now, you, you know, I've been talking about uh, my turkey hunt. And, um, and like I said, I didn't get him, but I scared him, didn't I? Well, uh, I scared him, didn't I? You know, uh, we have a little tradition on Giles Island. Yeah. 
Uh, you know about the Bowie knife, right? Yeah, you know yeah, I got my Bowie knife right here, y'all. This is my Searles knife. This is made by the, isn't that gorgeous? And when you see this, it's the best they come right here. They're not bigger, they're not better than this one well, right here. This is it, huh? No, that's not a Bowie knife. Yeah? That's a Bowie knife. <laughs> Mine's not only bigger and longer, it's heavier. So <laughs> that's that's a not not that's a tradition, what? We have a little tradition. You know, when I get a turkey up in there and he's in the shotgun range, you know, inside forty yards, you got two choices. Yeah. You can either blow his face off or yeah. you can run him down and catch him. <laughs> I but, tried uh, to run him down and catch him, but I missed him, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't you didn't do either one, so uh, I, I I scared him though. I scared him. I scared him good. I bet he didn't come back for two days to that spot. No, I think he flew across the river, as a matter of fact. <laughs> so what's but, uh, up? We got a little tradition. I gotta get your shirt tail. Oh. <laughs> my, that one, it's a high one, it's a highly priced chef jacket. Oh my god. <laughs> LPB has entertained viewers with healthy cooking and not so healthy cooking options. One popular program was from Holly Clegg and Beverly Church, teaching us how to entertain the trim and terrific way. Followed by famed Cajun cook Justin Wilson and his famous no potato potato salad. You know, we all have such busy schedules that brunch is a great way to entertain. It's casual, it's perfect for any holiday or occasion, and I like it because it's on weekends usually and it gives you a little more time to prepare. I'm gonna show you a great make-ahead menu so you can enjoy your guests and not spend the whole time in the kitchen. We're gonna have a bread pudding florentine, cheese grits, some wonderful quick breads, and they're really all my personal favorites. We're going to make a bread pudding florentine, and I love it because it's an overnight casserole, which means you have to do it ahead of time, but it's also a savory bread pudding, which I think is very nice for breakfast time. All we're going to do to make this is I have a mixture of egg and egg whites with skim milk, and that's how I sort of give it that healthier twist. Just beat this together, and I also added a little Dijon mustard because I think it really complements the spinach. Holly, could we use egg beaters if we had to? That's perfectly fine. Okay. You know it. I like it when you get healthier. Healthy. And all I've done for our topping is we take um, onions and mushrooms and garlic, and you saute that, and you have some frozen spinach, just two packages of frozen spinach and that you, you need thaw. To drain it a little bit. Right, too. you thaw and squeeze it dry, and with a tablespoon of flour. And we're just going to layer it. That's really all this is about. And as on the bottom, I have French bread, and you just cut your French bread. This is when you have that day old French bread and you don't know what to do with it. Here you go. Now, if I don't have French bread, could I use wheat bread or some other kind of bread that I've used? You can. Italian. You want some, right, some kind of Italian, something a little coarse. Okay. And then it's basically, Bev, just layering. So we're going to just put our spinach and onion so mixture. Easy. Easy and not too much time. And then we're our next layer, which I'm going to let you help me with. Okay. There we go. And it also has such pretty color. Is Swiss cheese. And I use reduced fat cheese because the fat-free cheese, we all know, it balances, it doesn't melt. But we want to make it a little better for you. So to me, the reduced fat cheese has all the flavor without all the fat. So Even just sprinkle start. a layer of that. Okay. And then after you do that, all you do is you put another layer of your French bread on top. And then you put your egg mixture over that. And this is really basically the finished product. The beauty about this recipe is you do need to make it ahead of time. So you can make it the night before and you put it in your refrigerator. Now let's say you're so busy, you never have time to get everything done, which is usually my case, is what you can do is make it that morning, but you want to give it about two hours to let the egg mixture soak into the bread. Now when you have it ready to go, and let's say you make it in a glass dish as we have here, mm -hmm. you don't want to put a glass dish into a hot oven. You always want to start with a glass dish and put it into a cold oven. You want to bake this about 350 for about 45 minutes, and let's say we pulled it straight from the fridge, maybe ex uh, to add an extra 15 minutes to it. And that's it. It looks great. What I got to do right now is mix up a potato salad. Ooh, look at that. This has got some ingredient in that. Just can't lift it, it's so heavy. Potato salad without potatoes. Now, I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you right now, this recipe is from a very lovely lady, the wife of a <clears throat> good friend with me, who's a sheriff way up north, way up north, around Shreveport, Bossier City. <laughs> His wife one day told me that he invited a bunch of people to the house 
And he said, fix up some potato salad or something because I'm going to be there with some company. And he said, I looked at it, I ain't got no potato. She said, somebody said, how come we don't use crackers? She said, let's use crackers. Them people won't know no different. <laughs> so they used crackers. They took them crackers and crushed them up like that, you know, and they left them in the package. They took four packages of them like that, crushed them up real good. Like, and you notice I use good tools to do this. Again. <laughs> it's the best tools I got. And then what we do, we put up, put in here a cup of celery, celery, celery. Put a cup of celery, chopped up fine. In other words, what you put in this when you make this is put the same thing and maybe a little bit more of what you would use to make ordinary potato salad with potatoes. But this is, tastes more better. <laughs> now, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. People, you hear, you hear people talk all the time about um, don't put on your own in them salad because it make it spoil fast. That ain't what make it spoil fast. What make it spoil fast is you, is you put some kind of dressing in there that you should not put. So what I'm going to put in here is salad dressing. It, it lasts longer without spoiling than, than mayonnaise or mayonnaise does. So we put salad dressing. Let me tell you something else about this that you're making, that I'm making right here. You got to put more of it than you would if you were using potato because them cracker resolve them <laughs> stuff. They just get with it and resolve it real good. So you put most a quart to them full, full pack of, uh, them full pack of cracker what I got there. That's a full pack I got, not a six pack, a full pack. <laughs> and it, you got to put a lot of this salad dressing because if you don't, it's going to be too dry. And something else I like to do with potato salad, I like to put just plain old yellow mustard on that, mustard, the mustard, and mix it all up together. I think that's about three tablespoons. Bro. That's about what it is. I ain't sure. That's about it. I ain't just... Well, put how much you like. That's how much I put on there. Put that on there like that. Oh, man, this is going to be so good. I may give you all some of this when it get through. <laughs> Here we go. Now, I'm so glad I got my mixing spoons with me. So we can mix this. You notice I don't put no salt on it. You don't have to because the saltine crackers that I'm using take care of everything. And I'm glad I got my mixing spoons. <laughs> oh, man, that'll do it. Mix it up good, good, good. And nothing like potato salad without potatoes. You hear? Whoo! Boy, come on, you can get some up. Get a big one. You know you love that. Ain't that fine? Hmm. Put that right there. Sit myself down. So easy, like. Potato salad without potato. I'm going to taste it. It smells good. Tastes like potato salad. I had a lady once tell me, she said, look, I want to eat that, it smells good, but I'm allergic to fish. I said, lady, they ain't a fish even swam by this. This ain't, she said, you say they ain't got no potato. I said, that's right, it ain't, did not, not potato number one. A potato ain't been raised near it, 10 acres away. But it tastes good. And she ate it when I told her what it was. She didn't speak to me for three days. I'm very <laughs> Potato salad without potato. Now LPB is bringing cooking shows to viewers in a new way. Through digital and social platforms, the whole world gets an even better taste of what Louisiana has to offer with its multicultural tradition bearers. Chief among them, Chef Leah Chase, the undisputed queen of Creole cuisine. Born and raised in New Orleans, Leah's legacy includes civic leadership, resilience, and of course a menu of southern recipes that has nourished generations. Let's look back at our recent episode about the Creole Queen from LPB's highly rated PBS Digital Studios program, Nourish. You know, sometimes you can do a lot over some food. In New Orleans, we do a lot over food. We meet and plan big things over food. Gumbos are a good mixture of things, of food, and sometimes I say, People like gumbo pot. It takes all different kinds of people to make a good world, just like it takes all kinds of things to make a good bowl of gumbo. You know, we do a special gumbo on Fridays 
that we do just with okra, crabs, and shrimp. Of course, you can put meat in it, whatever you like to put in it. When okra was not available, other thickening agents were used. And in here is the thickener, we have filet. Filet is the Choctaw word for ground sassafras leaves used to season gumbo. Another type of gumbo thickener is known as a roux. It's flour browned in hot oil, sometimes as light as cafe au lait or as dark as chocolate. Looking at this crowd, it's hard to believe that Hurricane Katrina nearly destroyed this restaurant in 2005. Dookie Chases has weathered lots of storms over the years. People came before integration because if they had to meet with black people, they either met in the church or they met here. And then you see, we'd get all the musicians when they'd get all, well, you know, Ray Charles, this was Ray's place. Uh, when Pete Fountain would close, when Al Hurt had his place on Bourbon Street, Lena Horne always liked her fried chicken. Sarah Vaughn was a sweetheart, and she liked stuffed crabs. I love to eat, I love food, I love to see other people eat. And it, when you see people enjoy food, they are so happy enjoying that food. And I think mostly that's why I like to cook. So how about this? We put some of your gumbo next to my whole hog, and what can we do? We'll have a good dinner. We can change the world. We can change the world. Because you come over, and we invite you over to eat that hog and that gumbo, then we can talk about everything. We can change the world. Most definitely. There you go. You see that, John? That's where we're going. <laughs> that, that Nourish program right there, that's the new digital series. We've got a brand new one, as a matter of fact, coming out, Good Gumbo. And if you go to the PBS uh, uh, online system there, you'll be able to see those series. So you've got Nourish and Good Gumbo because LPB, we want to bring the, the, the wonder that is Cajun food to the United States in so many ways, all the ways that are out there. And we want to bring, of course, the viewers some great Cajun food too, right? Some wonderful food. No, exactly. And I mean, where are you going to get it better, authentic, the real <laughs> thing guys right here on LPB and uh, just as we've done for the last 20 something years and Clay we need to uh, to oh, thank yeah. uh, to thank Donnie uh, Nor Northern and mm -hmm. we need to thank Doyle uh, I think it's uh, yeah Doyle, Doyle, Doyle Gillery yeah, Gillery sorry. yeah, you yeah go. Gillery for your uh, thanks for those generous generous donations and we want the phones to ring you kind of hear them ringing right oh, now there goes one right now uh, yep. absolutely we need you to call in right now uh, remember those two great offers that I'm giving you let's go uh, for yeah. it number one uh, I want to make sure that you realize that you can come uh, that you can have me come to your home with my entire team to do a dinner it's going to be five thousand dollars and we're going to create a special event at your dinner night it may be an anniversary it may be an office mm -hmm. event it may be just something that you need to really celebrate in a big way what better way to do it than this the proceeds all going to louisiana public broadcasting and uh, at the same time for twenty five hundred dollars We'll bring you over to White Oak Plantation, again, for a special event, special menu. Uh, two very, uh, very important, I think, offers uh, because every dime of this goes to, uh, to LPB. So please, if you're looking for something special this year, this is, the, uh, this is the time to do it. It absolutely is. And we also wanted to mention this is the only other break. This is the yeah, break that's if you right. want to get, get this uh, wonderful event that uh, Chef John is offering to you. Right now, call 888-769-5000 or go online to lpb.org. Make that pledge of support. I also want to mention that we are still in the Members Challenge. So, Members Challenge, let's talk about it again. Here's Bob Christensen and uh, Nilgam Fergell and Kelly McWright and Milton Moore, Dr. Linda Nall and Laura Sortel. And they are going to match dollar for dollar your pledge dollars up to the first $1,500. That's going to effectively double your pledge. So, in addition to that, of course, if you use a Visa or MasterCard American Express and you call right now with $2,500, this man right here <laughs> will do a dinner for 12 for you at White Oak Plantation. We might even add a couple of seats if you need. I mean, maybe your uh, family grows a little bit bigger between yep. now and then. We'll add those extra seats for the same price. I think a great, great opportunity for you, though. Think of that special event in your right. company this year. Think of that special uh, uh, annual event, possibly. Uh, some, something you need to celebrate for the office or the company at your home. We're going to come in and do that. So we now's your opportunity in the last break to be able to do that. So. 
Once again, some great, great, great programming and, of course, some great gifts. Now, we do have some other gifts, and we want to go through those in just a moment. But first of all, I wanted to uh, mention to you here, I want to show you something here. <laughs> when we first began your show in 1990, 1990 this wow. was the cookbook. Okay, look at the size of that level. Yeah, look, look, look how thick this book is mm -hmm. uh, now, y'all. Take a look at that. <laughs> Let's show, show you how this has grown from then. Look at there this <laughs> thing right here. There you go. And you know why the growth? The growth because of Louisiana Public Broadcasting. Over the last 20 years, just bringing our show to the market has just expanded the interest in Louisiana, the interest in Louisiana cooking. Mm -hmm. And because of that, books went from this to, to this, so because of uh, uh, because of programming right here, it's that's been right. Been hey, would spectacular. You, matter of fact, would you like this book? Let's take a look at those <laughs> special gifts, and we'll show you how to get one. For twenty dollars per month or a one-time contribution of two hundred and forty dollars, receive the LPB Cooks Combo Package that includes the cookbooks "Can You Dig It" by John Fulce, "Classic Cajun Two: More Culture and Cooking" by Lucy Zonbrecher, better known as Miss Lucy, and "Gridiron Gourmet" featuring Southern recipes for football season from Louisiana, Mississippi, Georgia, Arkansas, and Alabama plus a pair of LPB gumbo mugs. For $13 per month or a one-time gift of $156, receive the John Foles cookbook, Can You Dig It? And for just $6 per month or a one-time contribution of $72, receive a pair of LPB gumbo mugs. Call us now at 888-769-5000 or go online to lpb.org. Well, John, that's what they have to do. They have to go online to lpb.org or call us right now at 888-769-5000. We've got some folks that are volunteering here in the studio. They will take that pledge on Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discover. And, of course, let's go over that again. You're going to be offering some very special dinners. Uh, yeah, and every time I hear the bells ring out yes. there, I, I know that there's something exciting. Have somebody's called in and somebody's made a pledge. And, of course, one of the main things we want you to remember is that my two uh, offers that I'm doing tonight, the dinner for 12, and of course we can expand that a little bit if we need to, mm -hmm. at White Oak Plantation. It's just Monday through Thursday for them because of the big wedding packages we have on the weekend. But uh, as importantly or more importantly, think of that special event in the next year that's coming up either in your company or your family that you want to do something at home. And again, we can expand that 12 into a few more. <laughs> I'll come and do a special event. We'll work with you to decide what you like, and we'll bring my whole team in. We'll, we'll even wash the dishes when we leave. Wow. Anyway, again, all the proceeds <laughs> from this going to Louisiana Public Broadcasting. It's your opportunity tonight to take advantage of these two offers because we don't give them out that often. So remember, 2500 uh, at White Oak and 5000 at your home. So make that phone ring and let's make sure we get that out tonight. Exactly. We need to mention that this is it. This is your last yep, chance right. to get these dinners. So if you haven't called, if you say, well, I'm going to wait a little bit there. I got to go get a drink or something <laughs> right now. Right now, get on the phone and call. Break out that credit card. We are ready to take your pledge. John Fulce and his crew is ready to do the uh, dinners at White Oak or come on over to your, your home and do a dinner, as a matter of fact. We can do it. And you know what? We can continue great Louisiana programs, but we can only do it with that pledge of support. You know, I'm looking at some of the shows that we've done over there. Of course, we started with Justin Wilson, 19, yeah. what was it, 1982. And I, I think we actually kind of created that Cajun <laughs> food craze that, then, right, that came right. on way back when, so to speak. And it was you guys that helped us do that. We were a young network back then, but we were able to latch on to that. We knew cooking was going to be a thing. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, Clay, I was thinking uh, uh, during the break, I was thinking about just the influence that Louisiana Public Broadcasting has brought to the country to promote the greatest cuisine and culture in the United States, Cajun and Creole culture. And I just wrote down while you were talking a minute Go ago, uh, on our show, A Taste of Louisiana, over the last 20-something years, mm -hmm. two governors have been on that set. Of course, the great queen of Creole cooking has come to our Taste of Louisiana, right. Leah Chase. Three college courses have come, uh, coaches have come to cook on A Taste of Louisiana with us. Uh, uh, five to six different of the greatest musicians in the country. You saw uh, 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 Bing Crosby's wife, uh, Pete right. Fountain. Beautiful. Because yeah, Louisiana Public Broadcasting brought them to right. showcase the music of Louisiana. And when I look at Miss USA, remember? Uh, Alan right. Landry yep. came. Uh, for, uh, that was our 100th show. The point I, I want to make is that over the years, because of uh, your viewership and your participation, 
we have had the best of the best to showcase Louisiana's cuisine and culture to the world and certainly to the whole United States. People became uh, very excited about what's ha what was happening in Louisiana because we brought the message right here from LPB. So I cannot thank LPB enough and I cannot thank you viewers enough over the years for supporting us. We couldn't have made it happen without you. So when we look for these pledges, like that $2,500 pledge for dinner, we're not asking you just to come and do, uh, do a dinner. We're gonna do something extremely special to say thank you, thank you, thank you. So 2,500 to have that dinner at White Oak and in your home for that special occasion. $5,000. Help us continue to bring great uh, great programming like this, regional programming as well to the United States and, and the world. And as I mentioned, we are still on the move with the foods here in Louisiana because of course if you go to PBS Zest, uh, the YouTube channel, is, uh, you're going to see our brand new Good Gumbo program. There's also Nourish that we saw earlier. We're going all out to make sure that the rest of the country knows about the great food that's made here in Louisiana by people just like this chef right here. So call us right now at 888-769 5,000. Once again, we have some great thank you gifts we want to show you. So let's go to those thank you gifts one more time, shall we? For $20 per month or a one-time contribution of $240, receive the LPB Cooks Combo Package that includes the cookbooks Can You Dig It by John Fulce, Classic Cajun 2, More Culture and Cooking by Lucy Zondrecker, better known as Miss Lucy, and Gridiron Gourmet featuring Southern recipes for football season from Louisiana, Mississippi, Georgia, Arkansas, and Alabama, plus a pair of LPB gumbo mugs. For $13 per month or a one-time gift of $156, receive the John Foles cookbook, Can You Dig It? And for just $6 per month or a one-time contribution of $72, receive a pair of LPB gumbo mugs. Call us now at 888-769-5000 or go online to lpb.org. Oh, John, I want to thank all the people who have called in. I want to thank our member challenge again. That's Bob Christensen, uh, Nigel for, uh, Frigel, Fringel, uh, Kelly McWright, Milton Moore, Dr. Linda Ma Nall, and Laura Shortell. And for all you folks out there, uh, we're about ready to close that down. I also want to thank the, jum the Jambalaya Shop, nothing but cakes of Baton Rouge, and of course, Coca-Cola, for all the great thing, all of our volunteers. So what's that? We've got it. Okay, here it is. All Let's right, uh, member challenge results. 15 members called in during yep. our member challenge break for a total of almost $3,000, $2,850. Adding okay. in the member challenge of $1,500. You helped tonight to raise a total of almost $5,000. All we right. Can't thank you enough thank for you. it. And there's still time to call in for some of those, uh, that, uh, those dinners we do. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>
If you are an LPB sustainer and you've received a new credit card or your card has expired, take a moment to update your payment information or even better, switch to automatic electronic contributions from your checking account so you'll never have to worry about updating your card again. Make sure your sustaining support is active and update your payment information today. Thank you for sustaining the programs you love on